What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's CJ and in today's video we're back at it with a couple more NBA player props for tonight's two game NBA slate. We've got a couple of good ones. The Philadelphia 76ers at the Atlanta Hawks plus the Phoenix Suns at the Denver Nuggets for our late game. So we'll definitely be diving into that and hopefully coming up with a few good picks for you. Now yesterday's video did pretty decent. I think we got two out of five right. We had a couple of really close calls, one being Giannis Attentacupo, who barely went over that 32 and a half point prop, ended the night with 33 points. You hate losing to the hook like that. Another one that came up close but no cigar was Pat Connaughton and his rebounds. He ended up pulling in three rebounds. We needed him to have four rebounds if you did take the over on him. But, you know, that was last night. Today, we're off to a whole fresh start here, and we're going to look to rebound in a big way. So uh, improvement is key. We're looking to get better than just two out of five, and I know we can do it because we've done it before, right? So if this is your first time to the channel, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, make sure that you have those notifications turned on because after I release this video, if you play on prize picks, you'll have about an hour or so before the lines makers, lines movers over at prize picks start to adjust things. So it's definitely imperative that you have those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the picks in today's video. Now, speaking of, if you do not play on prize picks, it's a great time to go ahead and join. They're doing a 100% promo right now. So if you put in $20 up to $100, they're going to match it, giving you 100% of whatever you put in, doubling your money instantly. All you have to do is use promo code CURRY. I'll also leave a link down in the description for you to sign up. Prize picks is fantastic. You can miss, you know, one, even two sometimes and still get paid out on your entry. So I don't know of any other site that's doing that. You can also mix and match sports. Maybe you're a baseball fan. Maybe you're an NBA fan. Well, you can put the two together and make a crazy entry. Who knows? Anyway. Promo code Curry. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description below. There's also links so you can follow me on Twitter or join the Patreon group. Patreon's huge for me because it helps support me as a creator for 20 bucks a month. I also give back. I put together spreadsheets. I give uh, player prop tables provided by Fanshore. I do all kind of stuff for you guys. I try to give back as much as I can. I'm just one man. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, definitely think about joining Patreon. All right, with that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and dig into it. We'll start things off here by looking at these two games. We've got the Philadelphia 76ers at the Atlanta Hawks. 224.5 implied point total with Atlanta as 1.5 point underdogs at home, surprisingly. Usually the home team has a little bit of an edge. Usually they're the favorites in the playoffs, but in this case, Atlanta, a slight underdog. So plenty of points here, 224 and a half. Uh, no real major injury news here. I think uh, Hunter was the only guy for Atlanta uh, who is going to be ruled out for the rest of the playoffs. I think everybody else in this game should be good to go. I, I don't believe Joel Embiid is expected to miss this game, but I guess maybe he's one to keep an eye out on. Obviously, that would be huge monumental news if he does not go. That impacts everyone, but I do expect him to go even with his knee issues. So Phoenix Suns at the Denver Nuggets, 222 and a half implied point total. So uh, another pretty decent total game here, a little bit less than the previous game, but we've got Denver as two point favorites at home. So this game does look like it's going to stay close and competitive, much like the previous game we talked about, but you just never know with these crazy NBA playoffs. There's been a lot of blowouts and of course, blowouts absolutely friggin' suck. If you play daily fantasy sports, if you're a sports better or whatever, we don't like blowouts. Let's just say what it is, okay? Let's just call it like it is. Blowouts suck, and uh, they really cripple the fun and take all the fun and sometimes all the profits out of the game. So with those game breakdowns out of the way, let's talk about some of these props. I've got two point props that I want to discuss. The first one's going to be Michael Porter Jr., who is looking to bounce back after a pretty disappointing performance the other night. I mean, he was taking plenty of shots, but he just wasn't making very many of them. And he went way under his 18 and a half point prop. But this is the type of situation when a guy's coming off of a really bad game that I like to target. So he's at 17 and a half points today. And I think that the over is definitely within reach here. So let's go over and look at Michael Porter Jr. on number fire. We'll pull it up here. I'm typing in number fire. I'm already on number fire. I just got to type in Michael Porter Jr.'s name. All right, he's at 18 projected points, which does put him over slightly, 17 and a half. We need him to score 18 tonight or more in order for this prop to hit. So uh, good start here, leaning toward the over so far on Michael Porter Jr. 
So we're going to head over to NBA.com, pull up Michael Porter Jr.'s player card. You can see he's scoring about 19 points per game throughout the regular season, which is a good sign because that's obviously a lot more than 17 and a half. You're talking about one and a half more points than where he's projected tonight. So he can get it done. We know that this guy can put up buckets in a big way, and he could do it in a hurry too. I've seen him throughout this playoffs, uh, one of the playoff games anyway, Put up over 20 points in a single half, so uh, Michael Porter Jr. can be a bucket. But of course, he is dealing with a little bit of a nagging back issue. Hopefully, it's behind him. Hopefully, he comes out and he's looking fresh tonight. So we've got him uh, for eight different playoff games so far. He's averaging over 33 minutes per game. Now, his scoring average is at just 17.4 points now obviously that last game where he had a pretty piss poor performance has a lot to do with it uh, but I do like him to bounce back here obviously 17.4 slightly under 17.5 but not something that I'm incredibly overly worried about here uh, as this is one of those situations where one extra free throw goes in or one more bucket goes in and he's e easily over this 17 and a half point prop so with that out of the way let's talk about some of the insights that I was was able to find here over on Fanshore. Of course, these scenarios provided by Fanshore. Uh, so big thank you to Fanshore for their uh, fantastic tools here. So let's talk about it. So in uh, situations where the Denver Nuggets are the home team, in the last 15 games, 14 out of 15, Michael Porter Jr. has covered this point prop of 17 and a half points. That's good for a 93% cover rate, 24 and a half points per game in those last 15 home games another one that stands out to me when the denver nuggets come off of a loss michael porter jr in his last 14 games has converted on this point prop 12 out of 14 times which is good for an 86 percent cover percentage averaging 23.3 points per game and another cool situation is when the denver nuggets are favorites michael porter jr has hit his points prop 10 out of 12 games 83 percent 24.3 points per game. The only thing, the only knock here out of these scenarios that I was able to find on Michael Porter Jr.'s point prop tonight is that versus the Phoenix Suns in his last six games, he has failed to cover in zero uh, of those games. So, uh, I'm sorry, he has failed to cover in any of those games. Uh, that just still doesn't make sense. He hasn't covered in six of his last meetings with the Phoenix Suns. There we go. I think that makes sense. Which means... Uh, that's a 0% cover rate, 8.7 points per game. I mean, that seems a little wacky. Uh, I don't expect him to be at 8.7 points per game tonight. Uh, I expect him to bounce back here, although Phoenix does seem to do a good job against him. But that was the only knock that I found against Michael Porter Jr. So with that in mind, let's move on over to rotowire.com. Of course, we check out rotowire because they have points props available and, uh, you know, various sports books where we can kind of compare these different props. So we have to be careful here because one of these books has him at 18 and a half points. Now at 18 and a half points, he's a minus 139 to go under, but we're not interested in 18 and a half. He's at 17 and a half on prize picks. That is where we're interested in looking. So he is a minus 118 to go over and a minus 128 to go over. So you can see, you know, they're taking the under on 18 and a half, but the over on 17 and a half. So it kind of looks like he's setting up for about 18 points tonight, which is a good sign for us because that's where we need him to be, right? If we're looking to take the over here, if we're looking to target this guy in a bounce back situation, 18 or more points gets the job done. So uh, I think I'm going to stick with it despite his troubles against the Phoenix Suns in the past six games. I'm looking for Michael Porter Jr. to hopefully come out looking healthy with a better back prognosis and um you know i think he hits i think he he bounces back here so that's what i'm doing i'm taking the over on michael porter jr the next prop i want to talk about is another michael but this one is michael bridges of the phoenix Suns. so i believe he was at 12 and a half points the other day now he's up at 13 and a half points so his points projection is kind of creeping up uh slowly but steadily so in this situation this is a time for me to look to take the under on Michael Bridges. Now, he's played pretty decent so far in this series. But, uh, yeah, you know, I think this is a spot where a guy does really good where I'm looking to go under on him in the very next game. So let's go ahead and look at Michael Bridges and his projection today over on number fire. So you could type Michael Bridges' name in there, and you can see he's at 13 and a half points, putting him right in line with where he's at on prize picks and across the industry. 
and the various sports books. So not really seeing any type of edge or any help here to indicate we should be going over, we should be going under, but we're going to take a look at his NBA.com player card here and uh, see if we can gain, gain any more information here on Michael Bridges. So for the season, he also scores 13 and a half points per game. So again, everything's lining up for that magical 13 and a half, but we know that he cannot land on 13 and a half. He has to either be at 13 or less or 14 or more, right? So let's go ahead and look at how uh, he scored throughout this playoff series so far. Well, actually throughout the playoff run because he's appeared in eight games throughout the playoffs. He's averaging about 33 minutes per game and his scoring average is 11.9 points per game, which puts him under 13 and a half. So uh, I am looking to take the under here on Michael Bridges. You can see why uh, his scoring averages are not typically super high, 11.9 uh, throughout the playoffs so far. So let's open up his game log. You can see that in his last handful of games here, the last five games, he has covered 13 and a half points uh, twice, and they both happen to come against this Denver Nuggets team. So will he regress? Will he come back down to earth? I think he's due for a regression type of game. I don't know if he can continue to score 16 and 23 points here, but uh, his previous matchups against the Lakers, he did not cover in uh, the last three games that he faced the Lakers, failed to reach 14 or more points in those last three games. So kind of interesting here. He's having more success against Denver than he is against the Lakers. So let's go back and see what insights, what scenarios I have for Michael Bridges here. Let's take a look. Well, so far, the one that stands out to me is that in his last nine games, he has only covered 13 and a half points twice. That's good for just a 22% cover percentage, averaging just 11.3 points per game. Two other scenarios that I found when the Phoenix Suns come into the game as an underdog, the last five times that's happened, he has covered zero out of five times. Good for a 0% cover percentage, averaging just eight points per game in those last five games where Phoenix is an underdog. Another situation of note is when the Phoenix Suns are the away team. He is 0 for his last four in covering this 13 and a half point prop, which means he has averaged just 8.5 points per game. So pretty bad on the road, pretty bad when he is an underdog, and overall, his last nine games, like I said, just two for nine. So despite the success he's had here against Denver so far in this playoff series, there's just got to be a game where he kind of comes back down to earth. Maybe it's tonight after coming off of two games. Maybe they finally figure it out and slow Michael Bridges down. Let's hope so if we're looking to take the under. So we've got him at 13 and a half on one book. We've got him at 12 and a half on two of the other books. So let's look at the one that's at 13 and a half, obviously. He is a minus 122 to go under. The ones that have him at 12 and a half, he is a minus 122 to go over and a minus 133 to go over. So somewhere between 12 and a half and 13 and a half lies 13. Uh, that's kind of where he is setting up tonight in terms of where his points are expected to land. So if that's true, if he scores 13, we would be happy campers if we're looking to target the under, which I think I am. I'm not really seeing anything to persuade me otherwise. Uh, besides those two game logs uh, from his last two meetings against this Denver Nuggets team where he has exceeded 13 and a half points in back-to-back -back games. I just don't know. I don't believe that he can keep it going. I don't know. Call me a pessimist, but I'm going to take the under here on Michael Bridges at 13 and a half points. All right, so with that one out of the way, I've got one assist prop that I want to take a look at, and then we'll finalize things with two three-point props. So let's go look at the assist prop. And this one's a little bit tricky, a little bit controversial, so to speak, because all around the industry today, whether it be projections, whether it be different uh, sports books, Nikola Jokic is projected to go over six and a half assists. But the only problem is... I've got some scenarios, some insights provided by Fanshore that says that he hasn't been going over six and a half assists with any type of consistency, with any type of regularity. So I'm looking to kind of take the under here on Nikola Jokic and be a little different, go against the grain here. Let's dig into it though. So we'll click the assist column. Let's type in Jokic. And you can see that he is projected for almost eight assists tonight, 7.9 assists. Now, that is a little bit troubling. It is a little bit of a red flag if we are looking to take the under. 
Do they know something that we don't? Maybe Nikola Jokic gets clamped up and he's, he's having a pass more. Maybe it's going to Michael Porter Jr. Wouldn't that be nice if we're looking to take the over on Michael Porter Jr.'s points? Uh, I try to connect the dots here and see what story these props and projections are trying to tell. So in this situation, it looks like Jokic is going to be scoring less points tonight and be in more of a facilitator or assist man type of role. I don't know. Are you buying it? I don't know if I am. Let's go over to NBA.com and look at his assist averages for the season. 8.3 assists. Obviously, he is the league MVP for a reason. Huge season for him. 26 points, almost 11 rebounds, and over 8 assists per game. So, obviously, the 8.3 puts him over 6.5. So, let's look at how well he's done throughout the playoff run so far for the Denver Nuggets. He's appeared in eight playoff games, averaging almost 35 minutes per game. Uh, during that 35 minute per game average, he has dished out just 4.5 assists per game in eight playoff game appearances this season. So this is why, or part of the reason why, I'm looking to take the under on this six and a half assist prop, despite everybody suggesting that maybe he's going to go over tonight. So let's open up his game log here on prize picks. You can take a look at his last five games and see how well he has covered six and a half assists. Well, he's only covered one time. He's come dangerously close in two out of his last five games, but really has only covered just one time. That was against Portland when he dropped nine assists on them. So uh, overall, yeah, he has uh, failed to go over six, excuse me, six and a half assists in uh, the majority of the games here. So let's go back over to Fanshore. Let's see what I have for Nikola Jokic here. I mentioned already that uh, in his last handful of games, he has failed to go over. Um, he has failed to go over actually in his last nine games. He has failed to cover six and a half assists in his last nine games uh, out, of, out of eight. So he's only covered six and a half assists one time in nine games. 11% cover percentage, averaging just 4.2 assists uh, during that time span. Another one that stood out to me was when the opponent's win percentage is over 500. In the last 10 scenarios, in that case, he has only covered one time out of 10. That's good for 10%, 4.4 assists per game. Now, when the Denver Nuggets are coming off of a loss, Nikola Jokic has only covered one out of the last seven times, good for 14%, 5.6 assists per game average in that span. And last but not least, when the Denver Nuggets are a home team, in the last six times they've been a home team, he's only covered one out of the last six home games. 17% cover percentage, 4.8 assists per game. So as you can see, he has had a lot of trouble covering the six and a half assists mark in a wide variety of different scenarios here. So this is another reason why I'm looking to take the under on Nikola Jokic. Let's go over to Rotowire. Let's cap things off here and take a look at the various sports books and see how they stack up here on Nikola Jokic and this assist prop. So interesting enough, we've got him at six and a half assists on one book, seven and a half assists on two of the other books. So somewhere between six and a half and seven and a half is where they have him floating around. Now he's a minus 125 to go over at six and a half assists. Now at seven and a half assists, he is a huge favorite to go under, and I don't blame him. If I had him up at seven and a half assists, I would absolutely positively take the under at seven and a half assists. Six and a half makes you think a little bit more, but seven and a half would be a no-brainer. Uh, I would auto click the under on seven and a half assists. He's a minus 140 and a minus 154 to go under at seven and a half assists. So uh, like I said, I think this is a spot where I'm looking to be a little bit different here, go against the public, go against the projections, go against these sports books and everything and ride with the cold streak that Nikola Jokic has been on when it comes to covering this six and a half assists prop. So I'm going to take the under, but you guys have to ultimately decide for yourselves. Does Nikola Jokic just turn into Magic Johnson and dish out 10 assists? He can do it. We know he can do it, but I don't know if he does it tonight. I'm just not sure. So with that one out of the way, let's talk about a couple of three-point props, and then we will get you out of here so you could go lock in some entries over on prize picks. By the way, prize prick, prize pricks, not pricks. We don't want to say that. That's a bad word. Prize Picks is running a fantastic promotion tonight on Charlie Morton, the pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. He's been discounted by 90% on his strikeout prop. So please do yourself a favor. Go over there. Take that 0.5 strikeout prop for Charlie Morton. Just click the over 
and pair him with somebody else. It's a fantastic promotion. They're basically giving away money unless Charlie Morton gets struck by lightning on his way out to the mound or before he could get his first strikeout, uh, you know, something catastrophic happens to him or something. He should hit this. No problem. He was current or pre previously at five strikeouts. He's at 0.5 strikeouts. So a little bit of baseball to spice up the video today. Go take advantage of that Charlie Morton strikeout promo. All right, so let's talk Seth Curry and his two and a half three point prop. So the two and a half three point prop looks pretty good to me in terms of taking the over. The only knock against this prop is that I saw his points prop, his actual points prop was projected to go under. So he's projected to go under his points, but over his three pointers. So it's a little contradictive. It's like you have to almost choose which side do you believe? Do you believe that he's going to score? more uh, points or do you believe he's going to score more three-pointers like you know maybe in some weird scenario he could hit three three-pointers and still stay under his points prop I mean it's totally possible but I kind of look for a correlation there normally I'm looking for all right he's over on his points prop he's also over on his three-point prop prop I feel pretty good about that but in this situation under on the points prop over on the three points prop. So let's dig into Seth Curry. I've got him projected to go for about 2.56 three point makes tonight, putting him slightly over this two and a half three point prop. So not a huge edge here, but he has been getting the job done. So let's go take a look at Seth Curry over on NBA.com. We'll click the stats tab. We'll dig into his regular season three point makes and then we'll get into his playoff three-point makes and see if things are trending upwards or downwards for him you can see that during the regular season he attempted about five three-pointers per game making 2.2 of them that's good for a whopping 45 percent three-point field goal percentage so that is very good now let's flip this over to the playoffs and see what happens He's attempting more three-pointers per game, 6.3, so that's a good sign. Making 2.9 of them, almost three three-pointers per game, which is good because we are looking to take the over on Seth Curry at two-and-a-half three-point makes. So he's almost at three three-point makes per game throughout the playoffs so far, pairing in seven different playoff games. And his average is pretty rock solid here at 45.5%. It's you know pretty much in line to where he was throughout the regular season. Let's open up his recent game logs over here on Prize Picks. Cool little feature that they added recently. Loving it, taking advantage of it. We'll go back to his fifth game, five games back against the Wizards. He hit three, which puts him over. Now he hits zero against Washington, goose egging. But then he comes back, hits three, five, and five. So he is covered in four out of his last five games. That is a very good success rate for Seth Curry. This is one of the reasons why I am kind of liking this three-point prop for Mr. Seth Curry tonight. Finally, we'll go over to Roto-Wire. Let's click the three-point category, and we'll find Seth Curry amongst the different names here. You can see there's that two and a half three point props on two different sports books a minus 120 to go over, and finally a minus 115 to go over. So these aren't very super strong odds for him in terms of a being a huge favorite to go over this two and a half three point prop. But the fact that they are uh, overs, you know, they are leaning toward the over is a good sign for me. So I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I'm going to ride the hot hand, which has been Seth Curry's shooting hand, and uh, hope that he makes at least three three-pointers in tonight's game. So with him out of the way, we're going to finish the video up by talking one more three-point prop, and that is Mr. Jay Crowder of the Phoenix Suns, who has been absolutely on fire from beyond the arc. Uh, he is at two and a half three-point prop uh, three point makes, uh, over on prize pick. So I'm liking him to go over this prop, uh, yet again tonight. So let's go take a look at NBA.com. We'll click the stats category for Jay Crowder. We'll switch this from playoffs to regular season here. And you can see for the regular season, he attempted over six, three pointers per game, making two and a half, which is exactly where he's projected at today on prize picks. 38.9%, almost 39% three-point field goal percentage. Not bad whatsoever. So let's flip this over to the playoffs, and we'll see how well he shot from beyond the arc throughout the playoffs so far. Now he's appeared in eight games. He plays over 30 minutes per game. 7.4 three-pointers attempted, 2.5 makes per game. So he is still making two and a half three-pointers per game, but his percentage is going down at 33.9%, almost at 34%. He gets a lot of them up though. He's, you know, got surprisingly high three-point 
volume. So that's a good sign anytime you're looking to take the over on somebody's three-point prop. So let's open up his game log and see how well he's been doing at covering two and a half three-point props. Well, as you can see here, five games in a row in which he has converted on three three-pointers or more. So he is absolutely hot. Does he come crashing back down to earth? Well, it's entirely possible. You know, uh, I don't know if this is sustainable forever, but man, this is one of those situations where you know, kind of like Royce O'Neal yesterday, where I'm looking to just continue to ride the hot hand, which is Jay Crowder's shooting hand, just like Seth, uh, Seth Curry. So um, pretty interesting there at how well he's been converting. Now, on top of him being five for five in his last uh, five games, in terms of hitting this two and a half, three point prop, some other scenarios to consider here that when the opponent's win percentage is over 500, in his last five games, he is also 100%, good for a 3.6, three-point make average during that time span. And when the Phoenix Suns are coming off of a win, he is also four for four in covering this three-point prop, a 100% cover percentage, good for 3.8, three-point makes per game during that time span. So things are looking very good for Jay Crowder. Let's wrap things up by looking at RotoWire real quick, and uh, we'll get some odds here on the various sports books. We got him at two and a half three point makes on two different sites. He's a minus 132 to go over on the first site. Pretty strong odds there, and even stronger odds, minus 136 to go over there. So things are looking up and up and very positive here for Jay Crowder going over this two and a half three point make prop. I think I'm going to stick with it. Don't really see enough info or enough data to make me uh, say otherwise. I don't I don't think I want to take the under here on Jake Crowder with how hot he's been. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. What do you guys think about these props? Are there any that you're just like, eh, that's dog water. I ain't taking that one. Are there any that are really standing out to you and that you're locking into your entries tonight? Leave a comment down in the comment section below. I love reading them. I love interacting with you guys. Maybe there's a prop that I didn't talk about in today's video that you're absolutely in love with and you want to share it with the community. We love to see what you guys are playing. So leave that comment down in the comment section below. Again, make sure that you have liked this video. We've been hitting 40 or more likes in like five or six videos in a row now. Let's keep the streak alive. I love this uh, continued support that you guys are showing. I appreciate that. Make sure you're subscribed. Notifications are turned on. Good luck tonight if you're playing on prize picks. If you're not, promo code CURRY, 100% deposit match. Catch you in the next one. Peace.